Hey everybody, good day and good energy to y'all. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about, um, well, you know, I've been talking about, you know, ideas to, you know, save the world and save people. And, you know, I've been using these words, this word save in particular is what I want to talk about. Uh, because, you know, nobody can save you. You know, you got to do the work yourself. We all got to do the work ourselves. Um, the one thing I do, you know, when I say these words, the reason why I'm saying them is because I, you know, want to develop an idea or, you know, some type of a movement or way to help people help themselves. <clears throat> so, you know, um, I just wanted to clarify that, that, you know, um, this way of, you know, the way the world is now, you know, the cities, you know, the way things are operating, all that. I do think is about to end, you know, um, sooner probably than, I mean, the signs are all over the place, um, but, you know, it could be any time, you know, to be honest, here in Portland, like three weeks ago, I think it was, it wasn't too long ago, but we had, uh, you know, temperatures that were 116 degrees, um, just unheard of temperatures here, you know, it, ne it like hardly ever gets over 100 degrees. Um, you know, 95 is super hot here. So for it to get, you know, um, I was talking to somebody who said he saw 116 on his phone. I took a picture of it at 113 on my phone, um, but it's insane temperatures. I mean, that's the type of heat we had living in, um, that I grew up with in Phoenix, Arizona. And that's like as hot it would get on a summer day, but you know, that's the desert. You know, this is Portland, Oregon. So, um, you know, that's, it's the sign of the times, man. Um, stuff is changing, you know, floods are, you know, becoming more and more prevalent in the news, and, um, and then it's also, like, getting cooler, too, so it's just things are becoming more intense and dramatic, and I also think because these cities are all satanic cities, right, and they are, you know, what comes out of these cities and what these cities demand and the people consume is all killing the earth and killing the people and, and you know, creating all this destruction, so... You know, it, I can see how they're like creating a, a cancer on the earth. So like, you know, the earth, you know, when it's time to cleanse itself, you know, it's gonna go after the cities. It's gonna go after these areas that have created so much damage, you know, and, and granted the damage does come from all over, you know, the cities take from elsewhere, but you know, the energy itself of all the people and the collective, you know, is also a problem too that needs, you know, attending to. You know, and infestations, you know, I mean, it, you know, there's, you got to deal with the problem. You got to clean up the garbage. You got to clean up the trash. You know, um, it is what it is. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to see anybody, you know, we all got to go through what we got to go through. Um, you know, my compassionate side does not want to see anybody get hurt. But, you know, I just had to deal with my own, you know, sickness and, you know, and, it is what it is, man. You know, it's really a blessing in disguise, you know, the sickness. If you can listen to the signs, you know, the pains in your body and the earth and around everywhere, you know, they can tell you what's going on. You know, you can, they can tell you what's going on and what you can do to heal, you know, and learn from that which, you know, has become, you know, sickened or ill, you know, broken, you know, destroyed. Um, ways to, you know, combat that destruction or, you know, whatever, whatever, just grow from it, learn from it or, you know, just you know maybe you just you know, end up being destroyed but you can take with that destruction you know something to help you grow into something new and you know when you when you come around again you know however it works but anyway i just really wanted to jump on here and say that you know i watched i was watching joy's stream just a few minutes ago and um <clears throat> i don't like to talk about you know how bad things are with the planet and um you know, the world and people and all that. I mean, I have, but like, you know, it's really bad. You know, like, like I said, with the temperature thing that happened here and that type of stuff seems to be going all over the planet. So, um, you know, it's time to get out of these cities, especially. And, you know, the more that you detach from that, which is causing the problem, you know, I think, you know, the more safety you're going to have, you know, the more of a guarantee of, you know, life and, you know, happiness and positivity and, and to be on the right side of doing things. Because the whole way that this, you know, that we've been living, you know, with money and evil and, you know, the corruption and the neglect and all that is, is not the right way to do things. It's not sustainable. It's not the truth. It's been 
It's built in facts. It's all fake. It's all fabricated. So it's going to crumble, you know, as she's been saying. So anyway, thank you, Joy, for keeping it real. And I love you guys. All right. Bye.